morning, everyone. It's Cheryl Leong, and welcome to another session of Virtual Coffee. How are we all this morning? If anyone is here and joining me on this beautiful Sydney morning, and if it's not, if you're not in Sydney, that's totally fine as well. I won't hold that against you. I hope you're having a fantastic morning. Um, I'm on about four hours sleep, so I might be a bit twitchy. Um, so what we're going to, it's, it's I'm, I'm running solo today. Um, I did have a fantastic guest, but unfortunately she couldn't make it. But I thought, hey, you know what? I'd love to be able to have a chat to people. Uh, and one of the questions I get asked all the time is, you know, what is the best way and the easiest way for, for me to onboard um, a new VA or a new EA? Um, and admittedly, this is something that you need to have a think about when you're looking to bring someone um, into your business because it will make things easier for you, make things easier for them because as with any job, everyone gets it's overwhelmed pretty, pretty quickly um, with there's a whole lot of stuff thrown at them and if there's not a real clear structure of what it is they're going to do. Um, so I'm going to give you guys some tips and tricks on how to onboard someone into your organization and into your business um, as pain-free and easily as possible. So if you've got any questions, please feel free to pop them in the comment section below. Otherwise, um, grab yourself a bit of coffee. I'm cheating here because it's not actually coffee, it's, it's chicken soup, but you know, I'll take what I've got. Alrighty, so um, main thing, there's this sort of main thing you need to consider when you are bringing someone on board, first of all, is to ensure that they are the right fit. And I know that this sounds silly, uh, but it is, it is sort of VA and new team member 101. You know, that whole recruitment phase is critical. Um, and I've gone through quite a few different VAs myself. Um, and understanding, you know, we're a, we're a recruitment agency. We we you know we deal with virtual assistants and recruitment all the time. But the truth is, it's it's finding finding the people that have the right skill set, um, the right skill set, the right attitude for what it is that you need them to do. So the first part of recruiting and finding the right person is definitely knowing what it is that you would like them to do. And I spoke with. Um, uh, someone, Anthony, uh, I think it was last week, about VAs and, and this, con, you know, this sort of misconception that you bring a VA on and they can do everything. They're not little robots, <laughs> right? We're, we're dealing with people here and like, like us, like everyone else, we've got um, certain skill sets. My video is up here, so I'm gonna have a look up there. So they've got certain skill sets. So you need to be clear on what it is that that person is going to help you with. If it's pure a pure administrative role, um, you want to be have someone who's great at multitasking. They're they're really organized because they've got to organize you. Um, uh, really sort of um, confident in their in their speech and how they write um, and how they present themselves as well. Because often when VAs are working with, you know, solopreneurs. Solopreneurs have so much to do. We're busy, busy, busy people, right? Um, I mean, so is everyone. But the whole idea of having a, a VA or a slash an EA is to have them help you organize yourself, right? And to take off a load of the things that maybe um, you just don't have time to do or um, value wise they're sort of a lower value they know there's someone that can help you with it for example um, this morning I sent my EA Wana uh, a document to format you know I could probably spend some time doing that do I really want to not really because one I'm not particularly good at it two it's not a good use of my time so in the time that she's been able to to format that document I've had two calls 
with um, clients already this morning. And so you need to look at what it is that in, you know, in your mind, that person is going to help, help you with. And if you're not really sure what, what you need help with, that's something that we, we will sit down, you know, more than happy to have a call with you and work through that as well. Because sometimes as well, it might not necessarily be one person. Again, it comes down to the skill set. Um, so I'll give you another example. We, um, so we have a video editor and we have someone that does graphic design as well. I'm not necessarily going to get Juana to do video editing and graphic design because I know that that's not her forte. All right. And also, I don't want that to take away her focus, which is to assist on um, the administrative, the support side of things as well. And you'll be surprised how much time it takes to coordinate calendars. So, you know, it's, it, it's important that someone's there and, and knows how to do that uh, and do that well. Um, and then, so we've got someone else that does the video editing and the graphic design. So you, it's, it's understanding all those tasks, even writing that down. We talk about, you know, we've got a document called the task shredder. We write all of the things that you'd like to have done in your business and then work out which are the ones that, that you need as a priority to be done now, you know, you wanna eventually build your team, right? So, but look at what is important now that you wanna get done, that's gonna take up the, the bulk of your load and have someone in your business um, be able to, to fulfill that, you know, or, or execute that from the very start. And so once you've done that and say you, you've, you've decided that, Yep, I need someone who's an EA that's going to help me um, coordinate emails, calendars, um, client care. They might do sort of outreach as well. So my um, so one helps me with sort of Facebook and LinkedIn outreach. You know, messages. Um, I run a Facebook group, so she'll help me with approvals. Um, people that apply to be sponsors for the group. So there's a whole host of things that she helps me with. So the question then is that when she came on board, how was I able to uh, explain to her all the things that she needs um, she needs to do, what her roles and responsibilities are, without her getting too overwhelmed, and to ensure as well that I'm able to train her efficiently at the beginning. And if I can't do it, someone else in my team can do that. Let's just assume we've got solo, you know, a lot of us here are solopreneurs, small business owners. We've been doing a lot of things ourselves, right? If we've been wearing that, 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 that hat that says I'm the chief everything officer, that's probably, that's probably you. So I'm going to have, um, I'm going to show my screen. I'm going to share my screen here. Um, give me a moment. So if anyone, anyone's here joining me, um, again, you know, do you, you know, have, make your comments below about, um, have you ever thought about, about having a VA in your business? And do you have some idea of what you need help with? You know, and the great thing is once you have someone with you, you may think, you know, you may think at the beginning that you might only need someone for 10 hours, a few hours a day. But the truth is the moment you have someone there and you have a good sniff of, of the freedom that it brings, you'll get used to the fact that when you're looking at your task and your things to do, your mind shifts to that quick decision making about, is this something that I need to do or is this something that I can delegate to someone else? Um, so have a, have a um, share your sort of experience with me as well while I pull up my document. Here we go. And I'm going to share this. Excellent. Da, 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 EA roles and responsibilities. So this is a document that um, we put together, which, you know, for each of our, each of our VAs, we, we work out what, what's their job title, who they report to and what business unit they report to as well. So for, for me, I've got three, three main sort of businesses. I've got the growth hub, I do property development. So I, um, 
their roles and tasks around that as well. And then uh, I also run a, a Facebook group called Property Development Australia. So there are tasks around that. And so when Wana came along, um, I basically, we created these three different documents for each of the tasks that she needed to do for, for each function. So for here, um, the, the growth hub, for example, we set it out as to what tasks they were. And let me know if you can, can't see that. What tasks they were, um, the frequency that it needed to be done, what platform they're needing to use, and also any particular comments, you know, um, notes that I needed to make about them. So you can see here that we've got them as daily, you know, daily, weekly, monthly, or there's a set date or as, as needed. So current, you know, email management, that's a daily thing. What is this that we're using? G Suite, um, our calendar management. So if someone needs to make bookings, uh, what, you know, the links that she needs to send. So she's got a, a copy of, of the different Calendly links for different events. Um, so I, I get a lot of people um, that I reach out to or they reach out to me on Facebook or LinkedIn. And very often it's, hi, you know, let's get on a call. Here's my link you know, make a booking um, to suit you. If you haven't already, if you're not using some sort of booking, you know, software or so, uh, definitely look into it. Uh, you can use your Google Calendar as well. Um, I don't use Google Calendar because I'm not really sure what, because we've got different different um, events. Uh, however, we have just migrated to a new CRM, which has um, the calendar bookings are inbuilt into that CRM as well. So we'll be, we'll be moving, uh, moving over to that. Um, adding context to CRM. So any new contacts that we have, if they're not automatically um, uploaded into the CRM because they're, you know, generally we have some sort of lead magnet, we have a, um, a form, a, uh, form on our website so they'll put in their details however if someone's reached out to me via email facebook whatever that might be um one that does help me put those contacts in into the crm um and then there are times when there's like simple emails that need to be responded to so they might have templates for regular types of correspondence that comes through so she'll respond on my behalf or might even follow up um sometimes i'm so you know so caught up on, on phone calls, I might just drop her a quick message on site to say, hey, Juana, could you just respond to this person to say this, this, and this? Um, and so uh, one of the requirements for, for this particular role was to have exemplary, is that the right word even? Um, English, written and spoken and spoken English. Oh, we've got a little comment here. Which I can't see. Which CRM are you migrating to? Arun, uh, we are moving to go high level. It's fantastic. So um, I can have a chat to you about that. It has landing pages. It's inbuilt CRM. It's got inbuilt call. Um, I was going to say inbuilt, but you can, you can make calls from it. It basically tracks all your conversations with your contact from email, SMS um, calls, all in one. Uh, we were using Entreport and we found it a little bit clunky. Um, and then we tested Active Campaign, but the main thing that Active Campaign was missing was uh, I believe it was the landing pages and the websites. And there were a few things that we would then recommend it go high level. And it's been it's been great. It's been really, really good. So I'm happy to have a chat to you about that when we catch up today too. Uh, what else? Responding to emails. All right, go high level and Shell's personal Facebook. Sorry, no, not go high level, the growth hub. So my personal Facebook um, and uh, outreach there, like I mentioned. So when I get to, we've got specific template responses to things. So it'll be, you know, an outreach to people that I connect with or new people that have joined um, like the Facebook group and might be LinkedIn outreach. And the good thing is that um, Wana, Wana has a really good uh, sense of my, my speech, um, my style of, of, 
of speaking. So it's it's very natural um, when she does uh, an outreach as well. And it's great to be able to just connect with people because, you know, we're constantly, you know, uh, people are reaching out, um, at, you know, adding friends, whether it's on Facebook or, or connections on LinkedIn. I like to be able to know who my new connections are and generally find out a little bit more about them and how, you know, if there are any synergies, that sort of thing. Um, oh, one thing that I haven't added to this is, um, so say for example, for virtual coffee, um, we've got a template and a system around inviting new guests. So how do we find new guests for our Facebook Live? So if you've got a podcast, you know, how will you get, how are you finding your guest? And, you know, when we started, it was, oh goodness, each week I had to reach out to someone and, um, you know, it was just very, a very clunky, time-consuming task. And sometimes I didn't have enough time. Um, and then we might not have a guest, for example, today, but that's because our, our guest couldn't make it, but that's totally fine. Um, and so now we have, you know, a, a, a system where we've got a template that we post up on specific Facebook groups calling out for guests, um, you know, and then we've booked out for the next the next month or two. You know? And she she got uh, coordinates that process. Um, I have a call to meet the person, make sure they're the right one. And we set up a form so that they can fill it out. And then there's sort of a bit of an automated process that happens all the way until the day that they're on the virtual coffee and the Facebook Live. So if there's something that you're doing regularly and there's a process around it, start looking at creating your system around that. And it's gonna take you a little while to start with, but goodness, sometimes we have to, we have to slow down to speed up, right? And I'll show you in a moment as well what it is that we use um, to manage tasks and how we set out our processes as well. So she does, um, she helps set up our virtual coffee and our business of property. So I run two Facebook Lives uh, events. The actual setting up of the event and sharing it across different platforms as well, um, what she, she helps me with. Mm, and so that's sort of the the marketing side of things I guess in terms of Facebook lives uh, she'll liaise she's we we coordinate all our communications main communications via slack with my team all right um, and so she's got visibility across all the different channels that I'm a part of so if there's anything that I need someone else to do um, and for example, I don't have enough um, time. <laughs> we have, you know, I'm having a catch up with Wana. I'll say, hey, Wana, these are my main priorities for today. Could you please follow up with this, 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 this from, from our team or follow up with, you know, this client that's external to, to the team. So she'll do a lot of the liaison and, and, and management of that as well. Um, she will also, uh, out with appointment setting. So any leads that we get through from our lead magnet and they make, um, they've downloaded the ebook or whatever that might be. Uh, once it pops up, she'll make a call to them just to see if they'd like to make an appointment. Um, and any sort of follow up with prospects or referrals that have been sent to us, she'll help uh, we've got a template around that. Again, she'll use that template just as a guide, but to be able to say hi, you know, would be great to to have a chat. Let's book in. Let's book in a time. Um, and also, when when new clients come on board, there's a there's a document process around that as well. And so she helps with that. So, looking at this, her week is pretty pretty full. Uh, and so the next question is, how was I able to coordinate um, and for her to understand what it is that she needed to do um, when she first came on board? So I'm going to stop the share. Any questions so far? It's incredible when you see someone um, else, I have to say, 
when you see that it gives you it, hopefully it gives you some ideas of the types of things that you you might be able to delegate to someone or create a process around um, our business is all about or, you know automating things and leveraging so if you can automate as much as possible and then get someone else to either um, fulfill that or uh, or to be able to manage that process, you're gonna be able to free up your time from being the one that necessarily does it. So you can do, you know, for me, the, the core things that I need to be involved in would be sort of the strategic side of things, um, sales calls, uh, marketing strategy, that side of things. And then the back end gets looked after by the team in terms of operationally, HR, recruitment, um, and the and the sort of the design and the marketing output as well. So, you know, I've seen the benefit of building a team around you. Not only is it less lonely, uh, it's definitely more uh, more productive as well from an output point of view. Okay, don't. So I'm going to show you um, the task management tool that we use, which is called ClickUp. So um, lots of different task management tools out there, whether it's Asana, um, Trello, Monday, um, whichever. I highly recommend, if you're not already, uh, to use a task management tool. So where is my share screen button? There we are. Here we go again. Okie dokie. So we've gone from one as EA EA roles and responsibilities and we've seen you know what are the different platforms she needs to to use for that and so this is where we've broken it up into what her daily tasks are and and yesterday it was about probably eight different things so she's she's already been ticking ticking things off and what she needs to do on a Monday Tuesday Wednesday Wednesday's a big one Thursday and Fridays as well at any ad hoc tasks that come up um, and any sort of projects that we, um, after she's done all her daily stuff, you know, if there's anything else that needs to be, to be added onto her role in particular. And you'll see that, you know, each of them, it will have a description for, let's say, hmm. All right, I'm just gonna click on this one. And you'll see here, it's a description of what that task is. Um, but more importantly, it shows you that it's a recurring task. So once she's done that, she'll click it off, but it will pop up again the next day. So another, uh, probably a good one here. So it says business or property tonight, send guest Zoom on Facebook Messenger a message. All right, so what happens in this particular task, what, I, um, what I've requested is that Juana sends the guest the link to the Zoom, the Zoom link on Facebook Messenger so that it's easy for them to find. So most of our guests, you know, we're doing a Facebook Live, they're generally on Facebook anyhow. So um, we send it across to them. We also send it to them in an email. So you'll see here, it says business of property tonight, send guest Zoom on Facebook Messenger, Zoom link. All right, we just added to that. Uh, Juana's lovely face is there, and it will. It, it's a recurring task here, so it pops up every Tuesday. And here is our process there as to what the message is. So, hi, so and so, excited you to have, have you on the business of property tonight. Here's the Zoom link for ease. I'll see you at seven forty-five for a quick catch-up and sound check before we go live. Cheers, Cheryl. All right, so she'll send that on my behalf. And, you know, it makes it so much easier that particularly with Zoom links, oh, you know, you've, you, we've all been there where you're fumbling around looking for the calendar invite and the Zoom link and everything else. It's great to be able to, to help your guests get um, organized as well as you um, organized also. So that level of consistency, it becomes a good experience for your guests, um, there's a good level of flow. 
So you'll see there that we've I've added to that particular process what the template is there. Um, I'll show you another one where we've actually put in. Um, okay, a bit of a checklist. So here's the business of property guests and check that we've got guests for next week. And we've created these, these tasks within each of, you know, the little subtasks, a bit of a checklist as to what needs to be done to ensure that we've got guests, how do we welcome them? You know, what process have we put up the event and, every, and everything else? Everything is checklisted there. Not forgetting at the end of, at the end of the business of property, the recording gets sent to our video editor to edit as well. Um, and so that, you know, that whole, there's a whole process that goes, that goes behind that. And so I've, we've been able to go through each of these on, on Wana's first day. Uh, it was just a high level of, you know, the types of systems that we use and what, what we use them for. And the rest of the week, like each, each day I spent a good one, sometimes two hours with her going through each of the tasks, just for her to be able to feel comfortable as what that process looked like. If there wasn't a process in place to go through it with her and she would document it. Um, if there was a process in place that she would go through it and make amendments and improvements to it um, as, we, as we went along. So definitely the importance of spending at least that first two weeks with your new VA, doing a level of training, doing that level of outreach with them and building that bond. You know, we need to build that bond. It's a team effort and they are your right hand person. All right, they need to know what it is that you do, you know, the conversations that you're having. If that's the level of involvement that you want your EA to have, you know, and this, this all comes down to personal choice as well. But this, you know, if you've got specific things that you need your VA to do on a daily basis, use a task management tool. Click up. What we're doing here, that's a free version. You know, so that there's, there's um, no cost there. Uh, you, you need to be able to keep on top of um, I guess what your team's doing. And if you need some sort of task management as well, this is going to be really, really, really helpful for you. Um, and so, yeah, each and every day, uh, Wana will go through, tick things off. I have a chat with her on Slack every morning. We touch base every morning and she'll ask me, Cheryl, what are your top three things? And by the way, this <laughs> at the end of each day, and she's so good like this, She'll say, these are your tasks that you, you know, that are outstanding. Please make sure you attend to them. And this is your schedule for tomorrow. Uh, and it's so good for me to be able to plan, have a look to see, all right, what, what, you know, what have I done? What have I done today? What are the things that I've ticked off? What do I need to, um, you know, if I need to make any adjustments to the calendar for the next day, that's already there for me to plan and work out with Wana. So, as you can see, I'm not going to be letting go of her anytime soon because she's been amazing. Um, she's been a huge asset to the team and to what it is that I do. Arun's asked, is this ClickUp tool? Yes, yes. So ClickUp is a task management tool. So if you Google ClickUp.com, I guess, yeah, yeah, it is, it is ClickUp.com. Um, you can use that for free and you can set set up um, tasks as you need. Um, we, we help our clients with setting up Asana and click up. Um, most of the task management tools are quite similar. So once you get a hang of what the bells and whistles are, they're, they're fairly, fairly easy to set up. But if you need any help there, again, please reach out, let, let us know, we're more than happy to, to help out. So that, ladies and gentlemen, um, has allowed uh, our new, you know, new team members to come on board a lot quicker. It takes away a lot of that overwhelm from their side of things, but it also means that they're up and running so much quicker um, as opposed to not having a, a level of structure, sort of saying, 
well, here's my email, sort it out. Um, and I understand that because again, as a as as a business owner, as a solopreneur, there's so many things that you that are priority. However, again, what I urge you and what I recommend is that if you're bringing someone on board, do put aside at least at two weeks and an hour each day to really connect and go through each of those tasks with your VA so that they get a good level of comfort. They've got good traction and they're going to enjoy what they're doing because, you know, there's, there's no worse feeling when you're starting at a new job and feeling so lost. You know, there's going to be a level of overload. There's going to be a whole lot of information overload. Um, but you don't want them to feel like there's no direction. And I've been there before. I absolutely, I absolutely know it. Uh, but we've learned, and this is what we do for ourselves. We do it for our clients, um, with our clients. And, and we, teach, we teach our VAs to do as well. So... If you've got any comments, um, what are you know? What do you use? Are you using a task management tool? Are you having to manage um, a VA yourself? How's that going? Um, you know, are there any fancy tips that you've got as well? Uh, any hacks? I always like I like anything that's that's hackable. Uh, it's all about creating that level of automation and systemization in your business to allow it to scale. And to function as well when you're not there, All right? It's it's funny we go into business wanting a level of freedom, but yet we're so, um, particularly in the early days, we're so uh, we're so stuck to it. So one of the big things is looking at all right, you know, how do I get to the next level? How do I unblock myself from being stuck if I've got so much to do? Um, and that's where delegating or outsourcing really really comes in handy. So I hope that was that was helpful. Um, if you would like a copy of the template that we use for EA roles and responsibilities, um, feel free to comment um, roles in the comment section and I will PM you with a copy of the template. So have a good, have a great, great day. Um, have a great afternoon. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, if you'd like to have a chat, feel free to drop me a, a PM. If you'd like to understand a little bit more about what the Growth Hub does and how our VAs can help you in your business to be able to you know, unlock things and help you grow, again, happy to hop onto a call as well. So take care, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.